the uh, Arizona Wildcats defeat the uh, Stanford Cardinal. Final score, Arizona Wildcats 60, Stanford Cardinal uh, 57. This was a really tough game um, for the Arizona Wildcats. I, I could tell, I don't know, maybe it was just me, but I could tell, uh, I thought that the uh, Arizona Wildcats were just kind of dragging themselves along right there at the end. Um, during the last 10 minutes, I was listening to the, the TV announcers, Bill Walton and the other guy, and uh, they were saying that there was, um, in the last 10 minutes, I think it was nine, Arizona Wildcats scored nine, and the uh, Stanford Cardinal scored two. Um, <laughs> and then Bill Walton said, uh, when is the last time that uh, Stanford Cardinal scored? And, I mean, because it was just, the, the last was, it was just like uh, pulling teeth. It was a very, very, very slow game. There was nobody that was scoring. Um, I think uh, the last, one of the last scores that I saw um, during the final, you know, ten minutes of the game was by Nick Johnson, and that was whenever he knocked down that three-pointer. Um, but uh, speaking of Nick Johnson, the, you know, in the in the, the final seconds of the game, then he knocked down some big uh, uh, some big free throws. He was shooting pretty bad from free throw, uh, and usually he's very He's very consistent with free throws, but I think that, like I said, I think that the Arizona Wildcats were just, uh, you know, just tired, or just really, really worn out, and, and um, I don't know, maybe they were kind of ready to give up, I don't know, so, you know, we'll see what happens whenever the Arizona Wildcats have to play Cal, uh, the Cal Bears, on, I think on Saturday. But um, uh, 18 for 29 from free throws. Uh, it was the Arizona Wildcats, so they shot 62% from free throws, and that's definitely not one of uh, Arizona Wildcats' fortes. Is they use they are not very good at free throw percentage. Um, but you know, that's, that's, I mean, it, the free throws helped them out right there at the end. It, it's what made them so that they were ahead by three and, and eventually won the game because uh, Nick Johnson backed down those last uh, two free throws. Um, I wanted to see how Gabe York did. Uh, he scored one out of two from three-point land. I, I thought he was going to, you know, I... For some reason, I had in my mind that he shot more three-pointers than than uh, two, but uh, he only shot two uh, three-pointers. Um, but he only made one of them. Uh, T.J. McConnell was uh, he knocked down three for four. Or wait, no, no, he knocked down for one for one for three. And uh, yeah, it was it was Nick Johnson that knocked down three for four. From three point land for the Arizona Wildcats. <coughs> um, the uh, thing that I saw that made me kind of nervous was um, the amount of fouls that the Arizona Wildcats had at halftime. Um, they had uh, the Arizona Wildcats had three, three guys with two fouls. Um, Ashley had two fouls and. Uh, uh, Nick Johnson had two fouls, and T.J. McConnell had two fouls, I think. Um, and uh, the uh, Stanford Cardinal had um, they had six guys with two or more two or more fouls. So that was one of the reasons why I thought that Arizona might be able to pull this game out, is because the Stanford Cardinal had so many guys with uh, a lot of foul trouble. 
that were in foul trouble. And this is the home court of Stanford, so, you know, there would be more. you think there would be more calls going Stanford way, so that there would be more fouls called on the Arizona Wildcats. Um, the uh, the uh, Stanford Cardinal had 23 fouls, and the Arizona Wildcats had 18. I'm going off on ESPN stats here, so it might be different if you look at sporting. Look at Yahoo Sports or look at Sporting News or, you know, something else like that. Um, there was two guys from the Stanford Cardinal that I, um, I was very, very wary about because, uh, well, they didn't have any fouls at halftime and that was, um, uh, uh, Jason Randall and uh, Anthony Brown from the Stanford Cardinal and, and neither of them had any fouls and they were uh, I think both of them had knocked down the three-pointer so I you know obviously they're um, self-belief or uh, confidence level was very high uh, for the uh, for Randall and Brown uh, with the Stanford Cardinal, but <clears throat> in the end, it just wasn't enough. Um, saw Hustis from the Stanford Cardinal knock down a three pointer. Uh, Randall knocked down a three pointer. Brown knocked down a three pointer. Um, what I was telling my wife was that I usually, whenever a team doesn't do very good from shooting from three-point land in the first half, because uh, I think that Stanford was like one for six or something like that from three-point land, then usually whenever they don't shoot very good for three point, from three-point land in the first half and the second half, they usually shoot really good. They get comfortable, um, but then at the same time, Maybe their legs were tired, and if your legs are tired, then I heard that uh, three-point land or getting a, a you know making your three-point shots uh, just is very difficult. If your legs are tired, it's it, it's much harder. Um, but uh, let me see here. Anything else jumped out? Oh yeah. Well, I was looking at uh, T.J. McConnell and. He had four assists, and Nick Johnson had four assists. Um, I keep seeing a movement away of T.J. McConnell because he used to he used to score seven assists, or he used to get seven assists or eight assists uh, per game. Um, but as the games have gone on, as more more and more games have played then T.J. McConnell gets less and less in amount of assists. Um, I mean, he, like you said, you know, seven or eight he, in the beginning of the amount of assists that he used to get, but now, yeah, I mean, today he only got four assists. But then at the same time, then I think that uh, his, you know, he, he's, he's having less assists, but he's also... Uh, scoring more, and, the, and a lot of the guys on the radio were saying, you know, the sportscasters were saying that uh, T.J. McConnell, what they're going to do is they're going to um, force him to shoot shots. I mean, instead of instead of uh, assisting, because he's such a he's such a great point guard as far as making a, a getting assist to getting getting the ball to other players, uh, so they can make um, nice plays, um, but. Let's see, he had eight rebounds, which is fantastic because uh, the next person that had the most rebounds was uh, was Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon had nine rebounds. Uh, I, another thing that really stuck out to me was the amount of assi- uh, offensive rebounds. Um, the Arizona Wildcats, whenever the Arizona Wildcats played, uh, <clears throat> played Utah last game. 
than the Arizona Wildcats. I had 20 offensive rebounds, and I looked at the amount of offensive rebounds that the Arizona Wildcats had at, at half, and they didn't have any offensive rebounds this game against the Stanford Cardinals. So, you know, that, that was pretty darn scary. Um, the Arizona Wildcats also got out-rebounded, which, um, I don't know, uh, uh, they, I think in the last four games they have been out rebound or they've been tied, I think they've tied the amount of rebounds as the opposing team or have been out rebounded two of the last four games. So with this game, they were actually out rebounded. So it wasn't a very good, wasn't a very good thing. Um, so maybe the other teams are starting to see, you know, where the holes holes are in the Arizona Wildcats uh, play, and uh, you know, seeing where they can capitalize and maybe maybe um, maybe defeat the Arizona Wildcats. Um, the amount of offensive rebounds, the total amount of offensive rebounds that the Arizona Wildcats had was six. Uh, we had Aaron Gordon with two offensive rebounds, you know, awesome. And then we had Rondé Hollis Jefferson with two offensive rebounds. So, you know, those things were, uh, those two freshmen were, were what got the uh, offensive rebounds. And Caleb Tarzuski only got one offensive rebound. Um, Yeah, so we had, so the Arizona Wildcats had six offensive rebounds, and the Stanford Cardinal had eight offensive rebounds. Um, the amount of turnovers, turnovers amount were very, very low, and that was just a really nice thing to see. Uh, Arizona Wildcats only had eight turnovers, and the Stanford Cardinal only had seven turnovers. So that was uh, something, but... Just see, I think the what it was for the Arizona Wildcats, why they were able to win this game, was the Arizona Wildcats had 12 total assists, while the uh, Stanford Cardinal only had five uh, total assists. Um, and that's, I think that's one of the things, the big keys for the Arizona Wildcats is the amount of assists. As long as they can get over, get get more assists than the opposing team, then usually they're in pretty good shape. And well of course defense, you know, you gotta have they gotta they gotta they gotta they gotta have defense, you know. But uh, anyway, the uh, Arizona Wildcats have uh, awesome defense and they did pretty good on uh, assists today. So um, the Arizona Wildcats win this game sixty to the uh, Stanford Cardinal fifty seven. The uh, Arizona